Hi, I'm Miriam and I'm a field engineer here at RCAI and today I'm excited to share with you a workflow that automates the generation of medical chart notes and diabetes screening from patient physician transcripts using Orchestra, our workflow automation platform that's powered by our world-class small language models. So the goal here is to first streamline the process of documenting patient physician interactions and second streamline the process for screening for diabetes. So as mentioned, this workflow takes as input a patient physician interaction transcript and generates first medical chart notes structured in the SOAP format and second generates a diabetes risk score by extracting the relevant information and calculating the risk score based on the American Diabetes Association guidelines. Finally, the risk results are securely emailed to patients with their consent, of course, with clear and actionable next steps. So the result is a reduction in time needed for documenting these patient-physician interactions, and also hopefully an increase in adherence to national screening guidelines for diabetes. So now I'll walk you through how we actually built this out in Orchestra. So first, as mentioned, one of our main inputs is the patient-physician interaction transcript. So here we have a patient, 48 years old, John Smith, who's giving details on family history of high blood pressure, um, physical activity levels, and so on. And finally, the patient's email. We'll just use mine as an example here. So the first part of this workflow is generating the chart notes, as I mentioned, in the SOAP format, which is just one of the standard formats for generating chart notes using the entire patient physician transcript. So here we have our prompt. We're explaining how we'd like it to be structured. And in this case, I'm using Virtuoso Large, but you can select from any of the models we have available, or you can even select the auto mode, which will ensure that the correct model is selected for the task at hand. So once that's done, just for demonstration purposes, we're saving the chart notes to a Google Doc, and I'll show you what the output of that looks like. And here we have the SOAP formatted chart notes taken from our interaction transcript. So in the second part of our workflow, we're going to be using small language models to extract important information that is used to ultimately calculate the risk score for diabetes following the American Diabetes Association guidelines. So I have a couple of nodes here doing some extractions. In this node, we're extracting age and gender together and formatting it. And for all of them, we are using our virtuoso small models. And we have a couple of code nodes here that are just using some rejects to format the output so that we can put it into another code node to do the calculation. So in order to calculate diabetes risk, you need age, gender, height, weight, gestational diabetes history, family history, hypertension, and physical activity levels. Once we've extracted all the information needed to make the calculation, we're simply passing that information to another code node, which is actually executing the calculation exactly the same way that the Diabetes Association does it. And we can see here that the output of the calculation risk node is a risk score and also a risk category. So in this case, a course score of six would correspond to high risk. And finally, we will take the output from the calculation risk node, passing that to a model node, which uses one of our models again to draft an email to the patient, notifying them of their results and explaining the actionable next steps. And for demonstration purposes, we've used our Gmail integration here. So let's take a look at the results. So here we have the results for our patient, John Smith. And as we saw earlier, they had a risk score of six, which placed them into the high risk category. So we can see that the model has instructed that they schedule a follow-up appointment to develop a personalized plan for next steps. And that's it for this workflow. Now you've seen how we can go from patient physician transcripts to quality chart notes. Thank you for watching, and we're looking forward to see what you build out in Orchestra.